welcome. Madison, I'm surprised to see you here. What can I do for you? Don't talk down to me, Lyons. I had nowhere else to turn. You must help us. Project Purity has been overrun. Yes, I'd heard reports of an incident there. What details can you give us? The Enclave. They've attacked Project Purity. James is dead. There may be more. I don't know. You have to do something. Then it's as we feared. Madison, I'm sorry this happened. I wish we could have done something. Then do something now. They've taken over the purifier. Lions, they cannot be permitted to have control over it. It's not right. No, no, no. Calm down. You know as well as I do that the purifier doesn't work. It's useless to them. Perhaps it's time to walk away. That's not true. James, he found what's been missing. We know how to get it running. Is that so? Does the Enclave know this? No, I don't think... I don't know. I, d I just don't know what's happening anymore. All right, Madison, it'll be okay. Now, this is James's son, I presume? I can see the resemblance. Yes, he knows what we need. vault Tech computer, something to locate equipment. Please help him. Very well, we'll sort this all out. Hail. I... I need to rest, lie down or something. This is just too much. Rothschild should help you, but don't forget that he's Brotherhood. I've never trusted them. Be careful what you tell them. Father, might I have a word with you? Yes, my daughter. What is it? Father, I know that you do not wish to discuss the fate of the outcast. But there are some who say... You may be a sentinel, but you're also my daughter. And I won't throw your life away fighting an enemy we know too little about. I'm sorry, but no. Yes, Father, I understand. You have my apologies. You have my condolences. Your father was a good man. Talk to Scribe Jameson. She is our Keeper of the Scrolls. She will want to know what you have found. She spends most of her time in the archives. You'll find them in A-Ring, near the Great Hall. More than anyone else, I dare say. Certainly enough to know they're the greatest threat the Capital Wasteland has ever faced. The Brotherhood of Steel has encountered the Enclave before, you see. Over 30 years ago, back in California. Then they were led by a President Richardson. Now we've got this Eden to contend with. It matters not now, as before they seek to control and destroy. All in the guise of restoring order. Your father, I fear, was just the beginning. The Brotherhood is an old organization going back to the years just after the war. We are but a part of it. What would you like to know? The Brotherhood began on the West Coast. It exists there still. We were dispatched to this location many years ago. In truth, the Brotherhood of Steel has been struggling for years, both here and back home. Honor, truth, courage. These virtues seem to have little meaning in these troubled times, I'm afraid. Ah, no. That's the real question, isn't it? Our orders were, and are, to acquire any and all advanced technology. And we have, to the best of our abilities. But when I realized the extent of the super mutant threat, I felt it was my responsibility to aid the people in their struggle against them. Unfortunately, my superiors back west disagree with my assessment of the situation. They feel I've grown too attached to the local populace. And they're right. 
In any event, the Enclave's arrival changes everything. So... Why, yes. Yes, indeed, there is someone. Our intrepid Paladin Gunny trains all initiates in the use of power armor. When they're ready. Under the circumstances, I will allow Gunny to train you as well. You'll find him in the Bailey. I will send word that I've given my approval. What more? It's been over 20 years since we arrived, and we've been struggling to contain and eradicate the super mutants for nearly as long. With the arrival of the Enclave, I have a terrible feeling the super mutants are the least of our worries. Would you believe no? It's pathetic, really considering we've been fighting those abominations for nearly 20 years. In all that time, all we've managed to do is to contain the threat, hold them back so they don't overrun every blasted settlement out here. But we don't really know anything. Where they're from, why they've infested the DC ruins. And now here we are, holed up in our citadel. Low on resources, low on troops. It's enough to make an old man so very tired. Welcome. What's the situation? Welcome. The Brotherhood is at your service. me was a wise man, Initiate. Initiate, you've got a lot of nerve to interrupt. Oh, my apologies, stranger. I thought you were one of these worthless Initiates. I swear, these kids would be lost without me here to powder their asses. Heard you were coming. Yeah, I can train you, but don't ask me to like it. My Initiates sweat blood, and you just get a free pass? Anyway, you ready for this? Now look, to wear power armor, first thing you need to do is relax your muscles. Let the suit do the work, okay? Now you. What aid can I offer you outside? Need something, friend? Hail. Hail, outsider. I am Scribe Jameson. Word of your ordeal has spread. I am truly sorry for the loss of your father. But if I can help you in any way, please let me know. You have? Oh my. This brings to light a sad affair for the Brotherhood. But perhaps it is something that you can assist us with. If you have the time, 
I have an offer for you. Good. As I'm sure you've noticed, the Brotherhood operates all over the DC ruins, often detached from the main base here at the Citadel. We are short on communication equipment. So many of the groups in the field operate as independent cells, without standing orders. Sometimes, I'm afraid that their missions end in their deaths. As Keeper of the Scrolls, it's my charge to write of each fallen brother's deeds. Exactly. A brother fallen in the field may have no one to carry word of his death back to me. In calmer times, we could send detachments and messengers to learn their fates. But with our manpower stretched thin, we have no such luxury. Which is why I must now ask you for your help. Each brother wears a holotag like the one you found. Should you find any of the fallen brethren in the field, I ask that you return their tags to me, so that I might record their deeds in the scrolls. Scrolls are kept by the head librarian of each Brotherhood bunker. The scrolls are a record of the Brotherhood itself. Into each scroll is written the name and deeds of each of our brothers. Battles, what technology is recovered, when he was promoted, everything. The last entry for each brother is that brother's death. It is important, as the way a man dies is just as important as the manner in which he lives. And so, each man who nobly serves the Brotherhood ascends into our history to be remembered by those who come after him. They are on our fallen brothers throughout the DC ruins. However, I can't give you a full report on the locations of all of our operation. As I said, many of the units in the field operate independently, sometimes not reporting into the Citadel for weeks or months. We have access to a great deal of technology. And because of that, there are a number of things that we can continue to produce. I will be able to offer you caps for the tags you bring me. But from time to time, I will be able to give you something a bit more interesting. Yes. Have you? It saddens me to hear... Their names shall be written as for you. I Welcome. Robot to fix and all that? Precisely what I'd like to speak with you about. What's this I hear about power consumption actually increasing? We both know that's not an option. We've been over this. A slight modification to one system and all the subroutines go haywire. Don't worry, I'm on it. 
Rothschild, old friend, you're a brilliant technician. But this old man... <laughs> I want a full status report in three hours. All right, all right. I'll see what I can do. May I start by saying that I am sorry for your loss. I was acquainted with your father many years ago. The world has lost one of its few remaining visionaries. Think nothing of it. Now, Dr. Lee has explained your predicament. You need to locate some Vault-Tec equipment. Are you quite sure? I suspect that would be a waste of time. Regardless, the Brotherhood is not in possession of such a device. There is, however, a way in which we may be able to ascertain the location of one. Possibly. I'm afraid I won't be able to assist you directly. The news Dr. Lee has brought will require me to be elsewhere. I can, however, give you access to an old pre-war computer from Vault-Tec. It may have the information you need. You'll find the terminal in the archives in the A-Ring. You are welcome. There's a problem in the cooling system. I'm not sure what it is, but I'll take a look. You can lock it down. Honor us with your presence here.
Did you have any success with that old terminal? Ah, well, that much I believe I can help with. Step over here for a moment. I'll show you where it is. This map shows the locations of all known vaults in the local area. Vault 87 has been highlighted for you. Entrance to Vault 87 will be particularly difficult for you, I'm afraid. The area is highly irradiated. Lethal levels are all around the entrance. Gaining direct access will be quite impossible. You share your father's determination, it seems. And in this case, you are correct. There may well be another way. Vault 87 is located very close to the site of Lamplight Caverns. It is entirely probable that the vault may be entered from within the cave. The Brotherhood simply cannot spare the resources necessary to investigate the area. Perhaps you may be more successful. If you do find anything, please return here so that we may decide how best to proceed. I wish we could do more, but the Brotherhood... All of my efforts must now be devoted to assessing... Shutdown in the port shoulder systems. It's like the gyros are locked up again. Hey! The elders sent word of your arrival. Now, I'm really. Quartermaster Durga here, stranger. We run a tight ship, and unless Elder Lion says so, Quartermaster...
Garrett stop. No more game. Time to die. There you are. Watch it, will you? Decided to check out
Another satisfied customer. Give me a shout if you need anything. If you if you want any which Thanks.
right there, mister. Don't take another step, or we'll blow your fucking head off. You're big, and I don't have any big friends. You better just go out the way you came in. You don't want to go there. That's where the monsters are. We got pretty good at keeping them out. Probably better than you could do. The big ones. You know, the ones that sort of look like people, except they're all wrong. Yeah, I do. But it's through Little Lamplight, and you're not getting into Little Lamplight. Guess you better find some other way, Mungo. Hell no! No Mungo's allowed! Well, okay, but you better not be lying or else we'll shoot you. Happy birthday, Sticky. Sorry I missed your party. Okay, so you get in. You don't make any trouble. Good. What do I... There's nothing happy about it. This is the worst day of my life. It's time to go. You know the rules. The rules are stupid. You're a Mungo now. You gotta leave. Maybe I can stay just a little longer? Bye, Sticky. Yeah. Bye, Sticky. Don't just stand there. Get out of here already. Guess what? What's up, pal? You know, the usual. Hey! Wow! What? I'm Sticky. Forget these little kids. I'll take you to Big Town where the Mungos, I mean, where the grown ups live. Nah, I'm. There's no reason to waste your time with the kitties at Little Lamplight. So let's go to. I'm not allowed in Little. Only people under eight. So when you're done with those little kids. Okay, bye. See you around. Hi, how are you today? Whoa, are we letting Mungos in now? Didn't hear any shot. And if you're not here to raid us, you might just have brought something cool for us. In that case, I'm Nick Knack, and I take care of the general store around here. Which is to say, I collect a lot of stuff, and sometimes trade it for other stuff. That's pretty much a store, see? We don't go there. It's bad back there. Ask Mayor if you really want to know. I hope you...
Come again. I should have more stuff soon. here in paradise what's happening just talking to morons who keep bugging me scram what now mongo you don't want to go there we got pretty good at yeah i do it's through murder pass not a real safe way to go but it's the only door that works it's the only way that works yeah the other door hasn't worked since before i was here Computer's busted, and not even Joseph can make it work. If you're going to go through murder, but I still... You sure about that? Scare... Okay. Come on.
game's over! No! Despite the harshness of the wasteland, I've discovered in more than a few here a compassion that is unheard of in the Commonwealth. Perhaps it's the daily struggle for life here which gives appreciation for life in general, whether human or android. In a few days, I'll be a free man. A new man. Let me say thank you now for referring me to Pinkerton at Rivet City, because I will not remember any of this soon. Um, I guess this thing is working. I'm Jason Grant. I'm ten years old. I'm now try and hide! A month ago, a big war- two months and we're all doing pretty good even if we are all alone there's a door that leads to a vault right here in the caverns every day we bang and bang but they won't let us in we can hear them in there one time a guy on the other side told us we were dead already fuck those grown-ups fuck them all
Now try and hide!
the get resides is absolutely flooded with radiation. It's unlikely you'd survive very long. Myself, on the other hand, have surprisingly inherited a useful trait from my fellow meta-humans. I am highly resistant to radiation. Let me out of here, and I will place the Gek safely in your hands. Inside, you'll find the fire control console for the medical area. Uh, trip the alarm on it, and I'll be able to get out. Oh, a word of warning, though. Tripping the console activates a failsafe and will open all the recovery rooms in the medical area. So, what do you think? Can you do it? Glad to see... You are a sensible person. Now, get me out of this place. I can't stand it. 
I cannot thank you enough for this gift. You have no idea how long I've pictured this moment in my mind, and it feels far better than I'd imagined. Now, for my part of the bargain, follow me. Okay, you stay here. Beyond this door, the hallways and chambers are flooded with radiation. I'll get the case and bring it right back. Keep your eyes open. Many of my lesser-minded brethren are bound to stumble across us.
Here's the Gek. Our bargain is complete. As promised, yeah, here's the Gek. I hope it's worth it. Uh, I'm afraid this is where you and I part company. I'll find my way out of this place. Don't worry. Maybe we'll meet again somewhere in the, the wasteland. Yes! What a- Sorry. All I would do is- Objective is secured, sir. Good work, soldier. Make sure the Gek is secured aboard my Vertibird. Yes, sir. I'll have the text come down and remove it immediately, sir. You're certain he's unharmed? Yes, sir. He'll pass out shortly, but we can revive him. Excellent. Prepare him for transport immediately. Right away, sir. <laughs> 